I want to begin by telling you how much I care about you. <laughs> because you. as I as I look at you on my screen, just to the left of you is my brand new PS5 that I have not even yet touched. <laughs> And no, I would rather have a conversation <laughs> with you. <laughs> I'm waiting for mine as we speak, man. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for it to touch right now. The first game that you will play is the update game. And it's just like the update. You need to update the console. You need to update the controller. It's update. Oh, you want to transfer all your PS4 stuff? I was like, God damn, just let me play the game. The thing is, the thing is I have to keep a lookout. I have to keep a lookout because they have an old uh, apartment number of mine. Oh, no. I'm, I'm in the same building. So, I, yeah, exactly. So now I have to make sure it doesn't go to this apartment. You know what I mean? When if you see just like an in, errant FedEx guy just walking around, you're like, hey, 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 he drops it off. He was like, Hey man, um, there you go. I was like, uh, I said, thank you. And he goes, I think, you know, thank you. I said, no, 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 dude. Thank you. That's my PS5. He goes, Oh shit, dude, really have fun. <laughs> he left. I was like, my, my, my FedEx dude gets me. Like he knows my vibe. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. The interesting thing is, um, uh, not the interesting thing. That sounds like a bullshit segue, but <clears throat> the truth of the matter is every time I see you, so much life has happened between, in between. <laughs> like the last time, the last time that I saw you, I think the last time that I saw you was, was on set. Had to be. Yeah. Had to be. Uh, yeah. Cause I think you were filming and I was filming on the other stage and we have crossed paths. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and then I think before that, that was you know the of course the the the, the rap party, you know for 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 Tulu, the first Tulu, but you know yeah, that, but, but I mean like like, like literally, ago. so we that's that's years right. Ago. Okay, so this is funny. So everyone knows. So, so at at Sony stages, and I think we were probably shooting. Were we were we shooting The Last of Us? I had to be either I mean, that I, either we were shooting had to be. two. Or we were, I was shooting something else, but there's two it, identical stages at the Sony stages. Uh -huh. And in between yeah. is a shared communal um, yeah. place to get all the cast prepped, right? So um, it's not uncommon to be like, oh, hey, and you kind of see someone, but what they right. really, really like to do. Wardrobe. Yeah, you want to, even though you come to wardrobe, it's like, here's a bathroom for your side and a place to eat your food this side, here's a bathroom. And they keep everybody separate because what they don't want to have happen is exactly what happened between Naj and I, where I open the door and he goes, oh, what's up? Dude? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what are you doing here? <laughs> and And then I saw a couple of other people from Insomniac and I was like, Oh shit. So in that moment, I was like, I I knew like the entire plot breakdown. I was like, A, they're working on this game, and B, I know who you're yeah. playing. Oh, uh, yeah. he was like, You can't so say like, anything, dude. Is, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, and it's like, you know, we we both we both like have that intuition of like, yeah, we both know what's going on, but then we don't want to say anything. And it's just like, all right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have that eye contact and then go back huh? to go huh? back to work. Uh, uh, uh. You get it? You get it? All right. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. But no, man, it's always it's always fun because it's like you know it's it's a big ass family, man. Like it's just you know it's the same same people, same folks, you know, throughout the same years, and and you know it's fairly it's fairly new folks that I've seen, you know, here and there. But man, and and, and when you have that same energy from the same folks that you know for so many so many years, it's. It's like it gets better and better every time you get to get to go to work. You know what I mean? Because it's but, just it's just fun. You know dude, what I mean? It's just fun. It's, the, it's first time, from, the first time, the first time I see you, yeah. you're this kid. How old were you? 14? 15? Oh, shit. Four, yeah, 14, 15. Yeah, and that was my first just jumping into that world at all. What had you, you done know? before that? Um 
just movies, man. It was it was the grown ups, the grown ups stuff right. before that. Yeah, yeah, grown ups, and then I, I had a little uh, TV show, and then that was it, man. Like it was just commercials. But then, yeah, 14, 14, 15, Yeah, Last of Us, and I did a little. Uh, <clears throat> that same day, I got a little guest star on Castle. Remember, remember that show? Yeah, oh, that same, yeah. Oh, yeah. That same fucking day. That same day. That same day, we, I had uh, I got got the role for Sam and got the, got that little role for you know on cast, but it was it was a trip, man, because you know I'm not knowing what I'm getting into, you know what I mean? Like you know we we saw the 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 second audition, they had showed us the trailer of like the ant walking and and turning into you know what I mean? Remember, yeah. Like, remember the first first trailer? Oh yeah. So you know. Yeah, so we were, we were, I was sitting there like, okay, this is not a regular audition. I'm just like, this is, this is something different. This is something different. So like my my whole vibe was just just go in there and just give it your all because this is not something, this is not, this is not normal. Like this is not a normal audition. Like this is a huge stage. I just knew that something was something was different. And man, like that was my first time just going through, going through <clears throat> those stages of of you know, being young and then experiencing this whole new world. So obviously I kind of just went crazy, man. I can't believe we've crazy. never talked about this. So you, you yeah. walk in and, and, and you're in this, it's a, it's a very off-putting situation because you walk in, you're like, I've been on a set before, but this feels it weird. <laughs> People when, wear yeah, weird it's shit. Like, it's yeah, a weird room. Yeah, first time for everything as a kid too. So you like, so you're like, shh. You know, and it's it's and you have nothing but imagination you have to use. Like it's nothing but that imagination as a kid coming back to life. You there know was what a mean? kid. Like, that was my whole th- yeah. There was a kid that walked into the room, and a man stands before me now in a lot of ways. Like that was ten years ago, right. easily. Right. Right. Over, right. if not, I mean, it could have been right. ten th- two thousand ten for sure. But like that was a decade ago. And for, for, first of all, wait, wait, I haven't even asked you this when you, and maybe we talked about this on set and I don't remember, but you walk mm-hmm. in and you see, you, you know, that trailer for the last of us and you, you can tell that something's different. What, what about, I don't know how we've never talked about this. What about the fact that you're like, Oh, and by the way, here's this arc that we're going to do where your character is, is not only going to die, but it's going to die tragically at the hands. Spoiler, if you haven't played The Last of Us Part 1. Um, by the way, people don't know. But hopefully they do. Uh, you played Sam. Um, yeah, yeah. People people have been coming and, and been realizing, like, oh, shit. And I've been seeing That's you? <laughs> I get They're that like, a lot, oh, too, wait, by the way. You're like, yeah, how yeah. are you, Joel? <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, were your first, what were your first thoughts when you're like, I don't, I mean... I remember when I felt this way, I was like, I just don't want to fuck this up. But that's mm-hmm. that's me as like a 34-year-old mm-hmm. dude that was walking in this. So you walking in at a, as a 14-year-old mm-hmm. kid, it's like your third gig ever. What mm-hmm. what are you thinking? Shit. No, it's... Okay, honestly, I'm thinking like, yeah, like... Honestly, don't fucking fall. Mm. Because... Neil wanted me to run and do some obstacles. Oh, you're talking literally. (laughs) Yes, 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 exactly. (gasps) Holy. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man, I think I I was like, man, he's being so (laughs) metaphorical right now. Don't don't fall. Don't fall. He's like, no, literally, don't trip (laughs) over the obstacle course. (laughs) This shit, yeah. Because, you know, we we had to run, you know, run. Like, Neil wanted me, he's like, okay. So, you know, uh, built the stage for me. I want to say the second audition, uh, we, we built we built a little stage. He's, he had a, a car in the middle as the box and then maybe like a wall right here. So he's like, you know, go to the car and then go to the wall and then, you know, stop for a minute and pant. I'm like, all right, cool. So in my head, I'm like, I got this, I got this. But don't fucking fall, bro. <laughs> don't fall. Like, don't trip, bro. If you trip, it's over with, bro. So like, that's what I'm thinking the whole time. Really? Like, you know, this is fun for me. Like this, I'm, a, like, you know, this is imagination. I'm, 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 I'm getting to run. I mean, not saying lines. I'm getting to show action. Like, you know, this is, this is me. So I'm like, all right, cool. This is gonna be fun. But don't fucking fall because I, I'm a klutz, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I just had that tendency. <laughs> so, so, so you know 
So long story short, man, like <clears throat> it was fun, but also at the same time, yeah, like very, very uh, eye opening because I, yeah, I didn't know like this was this was a whole new world. First audition that it was in a huge studio like this, and we're actually you know building a, a stage, and you know, like I said, it was a first. Ex- first video game experience in audition. So it was like, yeah, it was wild. But then I remember having that conversation with you, you know, later down, later down the line on set, like he said, man, once you're in this world, you know, you're, you're going to be in this world for a mm-hmm. minute. And, and I remember you telling me that, man, I remember you telling me that shit. And it was, it was crazy because it's like, look at, look at this shit now. <laughs> and by the way, I, like, that's, that's not now. like, it's that's not crazy. some bullshit thing. It's 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 the truth. It's like, and trust me, there's a lot of people that are probably watching this going, yeah, he's always in every fucking game. And it's, <laughs> it's the reason why is is that ultimately, as actors, you're there to be a solution to a problem, right? It's like the, they've they've got a problem. They need to cast this character, and they need someone who's going to be able to to do that. There's 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 all sorts of space in between that that we could cover, but it's like flash forward to the the you know the um substantiation of that claim of, of that you will be right. in this world and and we're literally today is the day um that miles morales launches what how you you have a history with that character because you you played it on the animated series as well i i leave you on the on the rap party you're underage can't even drink at your own rap party it's bullshit <laughs> <laughs> and then Next thing I know <laughs> is that you're in the you're in this new Spider-Man animated series. So, like, what? Fill me in, man. There's a there's a lot of life. Yeah, I want to say uh, <clears throat> we get done. I want to say Last of Us. Uh, yeah, f- fourteen, fifteen. Um, uh, yeah, so like sixteen, seventeen. Uh, seventeen was a rough year. Okay. 17 was def- definitely a rough year. It was one of those just those down years. You know, everyone has those down years. And uh, and then it kind of uh, ended off with me getting the animated series. So it started off bad and then 17 ended bad. I mean, I mean ended good, ended good with, with, with the animated series. But yeah, so 16, I was, uh, I think 15, 16, I think that's when I did uh, the Grown Ups 2, went back to do <coughs> Grown Ups 2. And then that was that, 15, 16, and then uh, 16, yeah, I guess we were taking a break for or whatever. It was kind of slow for a minute, 17, kind of slow. And then animated series happened at uh, 17, 18. And then, um, and then from there, man, it just kind of, you know, it kind of started off slow because, uh, you know, uh, we were just trying to get everything together, I guess. And, and the, you know, people were dropping like flies on the, on the show at first, man. Like, I was scared out of my on my wits, bro, because like people were dropping like flies. Like, what do you mean? First time we got on, oh man, man, <clears throat> jeez, like the first, <laughs> you know what I mean? The first time we got on, it was like, um, all right, so uh, this person here has been recasted, so we're gonna. Da, 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 da. I'm like, whoa, we're getting emails left to right, left to right. Like the first time we're starting, bro, like all of us are getting emails saying, okay, this person don't say anything. This person, we're like, whoa, so like it's like. Like, oh, shit. All right, cool. So, like, I'm nervous now. I'm like, okay, let me, let me be in my P's and Q's. And now I'm going in there on my A game, bro. I'm going in there on my A game. I'm going in there like, okay, let me just really tune in. And I start doing my own research at home about Miles. And then, you know, I'm just, I'm really getting into it. And then <clears throat> it got to a point where, you know, with the first season uh, went great. And then uh, we took a break and then uh, came back. But then I think when we came back, um, uh, I think it, it did kind of get slow. I think, uh, yeah, like 19, 20, it kind of got slow. Uh, but I think it was still doing it. And then the game came at like 20, 20. Uh, no, at not 20, 20, at age 20. So I want to say like 19, age 20. They had got, brought, brought brought me to the uh, stage to uh, do the first audition for the game. And, <sighs> so you have yeah. the role. Yeah. Right. You've yeah, got the role in the animated the series. And what's yeah. so funny is that you could really talk to, you know, Yuri Lowenthal about this as well. Cause he's like, yeah, yo, I've had that role before too. And it's, it's and not, not obviously not Miles Morales, but the, the notion of I I've played, you know, um, 
Hawkeye or I've played Loki yeah. or whatever, I still have to audition for that. It's like, come on, guy, you want my audition reel? Go to Disney right now. <laughs> 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 and there's like 150 episodes is my audition reel. Yeah. So you yeah. had to you had to audition for for Miles Morales because it's a totally different yeah, team. It's a it totally was, different thing. Definitely, definitely had to audition, but it was uh it wasn't a regular audition though. You know, okay. it definitely wasn't a re- that was definitely wasn't a regular audition. Um, you know, because I you know I definitely knew everybody there already. You know, <laughs> sure. I, I knew I, I knew everybody. I was like, hey, 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 I know, yeah, I know, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, but I definitely went in there already. <clears throat> feeling the vibe i didn't uh we we kept everything coded still everything was coded still so nothing was was, oh this is that okay cool um i get the script i'm like okay cool and then i'm like all right so focus and then uh yeah but it wasn't a regular audition i get there i know everybody and then you know it's it's quiet it's just me and um it's just me uh i believe yuri was there um our casting director and uh, i think our director i believe yeah, it was only like four of us there. Cool. And um, yeah, man. And this was at the South Stage. So I was at at, at South Stage, and we're just we're just we're just doing our thing, man. And um, run run the lines, maybe do a little physical activity here and there, and then we just talk it out. And then you know, I want to say yeah, that later that day or the next day. Because yeah, Miles is a little older too, so that's what I had to adjust is 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 getting his mannerisms a little older. Because in the series, he's thirteen. You know what I mean? Mm. He's thirteen in the series. In the in the game, he's you know like seventeen, sixteen. So you know his posture, his mannerisms are a little, a little you know a little more poised. You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> so I think yeah, I had to get used to that and and adjust to that. But then later that day or later that week, we had got the news or I, I got the news that. You know, it's 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 this and, it, and it's the game and you know, like, oh shit, let's do it, man! Like, <laughs> let's do it. And I'm in the gym now, and <laughs> now I'm like, all right, all right, let me figure this, let me figure this out. Dude, there's but, um, nothing more first. motivating to get you in the gym than realizing you're gonna have to spend a lot of time in that mocap suit, and it's like, yeah, it's yeah. it's not about anybody else looking at you. You're like, I'm gonna have to look at my it's, ass. Every day, Yo, and and it's it's the humbling experience of when you get in the mocap and realize how your body looks. Like that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's like, oh fuck, is that what I look like? Oh man, I gotta excuse me for a second, guys. You're like, you know that this isn't a shirtless scene. It's like, get my as well be. I'm it's gonna horrible. just give me a second. It's you, horrible. <laughs> you talk about. And by the way, you could you could be Chris Evans, and you're still just going to be like, God, this is the most unflattering. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a superhero suit at all. It's not. Um, yeah, it's not. It's not. It's, it's, not it's superhero suit Coastal in the West. same way that like you know Val Kilmer's Batman suit was, where they get or George yeah. Clooney's, where they gave him nipples. Um, <laughs> you, you you talk he about kind of suit. like it moves slow, and you, you talk about the typical dynamic of yeah. of yeah. being an actor. Now that that's happened to you and you've been in this long enough to kind of start seeing some cycles and start seeing some patterns, you're like, all right, it's going to be weird here, but you know, this, this happened this way last time. And so I can at least predict a pattern somehow. And you've also, you've gotten more than one gig. So obviously, and it's not the same people that keep hiring you. It's different people that keep hiring. So obviously there's something inherent to you that people are like, all right, he's talented. Do you start looking in, the, in those when you see on the on the horizon? You're like, there's some dark clouds ahead. This this could be one of those things where I go dark. Do you are you able to see the horizon that exists beyond that dark, or or are you just like, are you still trying to see? Do you just do you, do you only see the down, or do you also are you able to see the up? Um, <clears throat> definitely, definitely when it's time for that. I can, I could, I could bring it in like that, that, that those dark clouds are always, you know, always going to be there, but it's a time for everything. And, you know, it's a time for, <clears throat> it's, a, you know, like I said, it's a time for everything. It's a time to shut things out. You know what I mean? Because like when, when it's time to work and you have, and you have to be around, you know, the, 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 the social aspect of, of a set or just being around, you know, people, period. You know what I mean? You can't, you can't sure. bring that around. You know, you, you definitely can't bring that around. So it's like, you definitely have to find that up in, in, in your spirit and, and definitely find, have to find that up because it's like, you know, 
<clears throat> you know it's gonna, you know, every you know how the cycle is, you know how life is, you know how how everything is. So you can't really like keep yourself in that in that darkness you know what i mean but when there's a time for it and, and there's a time to bring it out that's where the talent may come in because a lot of people can't function that way you know a lot of people can't control you know what i mean hold it back or 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 sustain it or, or let it go you know what i mean like a lot are of you, people, what do you, how are you you know do you use that are you at the point where you can yeah. kind of dope yeah yeah i mean it, at first it was it was hard you know but now it's it's definitely like it's definitely at a point where, you know, I know it's a time for everything and like, yeah, man, like, you know, I definitely try to keep a lot of things, you know, where they need to be and then keep where my happiness needs to be too, as far as like in the industry and then working as an actor and then, you know, all that stuff, you know what I mean? Cause is yeah, that where your happiness is? Up. I mean, no, I mean, I mean, I shit. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's really, yeah. I mean, it's really like, it's really just having fun, man. Like it's and it's that sounds so fucking cliche. It sounds so cliche, right? It sounds so cliche. Not to but me. Being an only <laughs> child, no, 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 no. But listen to this. Being an only child in my situation, bro, being an only child and being raised by a single mother, I've had to force myself to like make fun out of a situation. Mm. That makes sense. No, dude, I understand. I you grew up me? with no money. It was me? like, yeah, you don't, yeah, you don't. All the other shit. kids get the Game Boys and shit. It's like I got a bunch of bro- broken same GI shit. Joes. You're like, I have to make yeah, fun. Bro. You have to make of, of a yeah, and that's and that's where that shit comes from with us, bro. Like that shit. That's how we can tune into a different world than other people. You know what I mean? Like that's where that talent because we've had to make fun of a of a of a of a bad situation of our past. Do you think so that's what like, led you to this? Is is that like what? Like you, I mean, you, shit, man. Like me and Miles have a lot of similarity. Like when you know the Miles stories, you know he <clears throat> he lost his dad. You know my dad has never been in my life, and um, and you know that's something that I kind of tuned into when when those scenes came about. And then also with you know uh, Miles's mom being Puerto Rican, my mom is Jamaican, so it's kind of like we kind of have you know it's, it's me and Miles are kind of on a, a similar path. And then you know as far as with you know his just music and just. Him in general, you know, I kind of kind of got where his mindset was. You know what I mean? Just him in general. I kind of knew what kind of kid he was. I kind of knew what kind of uh, style to embody, really. You know what I mean? Hold on. Let me turn my light on. Hold on. It's getting dark. Hold on. <laughs> Speaking of getting dark, it's like you know, during these dark times, like sometimes you got to find a light to turn on. <laughs> There's that shining face. There it is. There it is. There it is. You, okay. you did you know about Miles Morales before, or like when? When did you find out? Because I mean, he, Miles Morales was not always like this big. He, he, you had to dig deep. Like it was a comic book nerd yeah. thing. I definitely heard like two different stories. I heard um, my uncle. Uh, my uncle told me that, and I don't know how true this is, but. Uh, that he he used to read about Miles back in the days. And I was, you know, I was kind of confused about that because I heard another story that Miles wasn't made until um the 80s. until Obama got yeah. Yeah, no, exactly. No, 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 no. Until, no, 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 no. Right. Until Obama got into office. That's what I heard. Well, it's so unfortunately I, I have an assistant that could tell me everything. Yeah, yeah. I heard two different, I'm like, hold on a minute. So dude, 2011, <clears throat> man. I, I thought it was like I thought it was 90s, not 80s, 90s. Um, so you thought, so yeah, that's what my uncle thought too. Wow, man, 2011. I, I mean, jeez, that's crazy. That's a and fast that's track crazy. character, man. That's that is a character born. There's so many people just screaming us in the comments, like, how so could you not know in Miles Morales? <laughs> Speaking of, so all of a sudden, I, I've experienced this before. Like, you've got him. You've got him twice, right? You're you are the heir apparent, mm. and then a movie drops, right? And see, they didn't even, I didn't even hear about it. How do you feel? I mean. Didn't even hear about it. It was so crazy, bro. Like, that's the biggest, the biggest thing. They were like, okay, are you? No. I'm like, no. Because I I don't know when the the timeline was for, because, you know, I, yeah. I don't know when the timeline was for everything. Which takes longer, man. Animated movie like that or a game, I have no idea. Because I'm doing, I'm going back and forth between the between the between the show and the game now. 
because it was a time where I'm doing, I'm going back. Both. I had to do sessions. Yeah. On both. I had to go uh, do mocap on Thursdays and Wednesdays and then do uh, the session for uh, animated on Fridays, Fridays from nine to one. And those, you know what I mean? Those were nine to one every Friday. And then mocap was like every Wednesday, Thursday, you know how that yeah. goes. So I was, you know what I mean? I was back and forth doing both. So I never knew about them. You know what I mean? And then after, out, of, out of nowhere, boom, it's a, I'm like, so I don't know if it was like uh, uh, we didn't want to overbook type thing. I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, know. dude, that sounds like a classic Sony, <laughs> Sony know. Disney thing. I'll never forget. I was on the Warner Brothers lot and I was uh-huh. walking from one stage to another. And uh-huh. um, I was I was walking with one of the talent coordinators and all of a sudden yeah. crossing the parking lot at the same time was Will Ferrell. And so Will Ferrell passes by <laughs> and this coordinator was, I think she was probably just being kind. It's like, I'm going to go ahead and say something of like, did, did you get the copies of the TPS reports that I put in your office or whatever? And you stopped. And so we're, we're stopped while they have their business conversation. And Will Ferrell mm-hmm. and I are kind of looking and I was like, hey, how you doing, man? I'm, I'm Troy. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, hello. And he's just very, very nice. And sure. the talent coordinator that I was with goes, um, he's our Lego Batman. And Will Ferrell goes, oh. <laughs> and I was like, that's a weird response to that and left. Yeah. The reason why it's so weird is because he was there to do ADR for the Lego movie. And I did not know that I had been replaced by Will Arnett. <laughs> so I was like, of course he's looking Wait, at it going, who? he's not. Will Arnett? Will Arnett did uh, Lego Batman in the Lego movie. Okay, okay. okay I did okay, okay. every other Lego Batman game and, and yeah, direct the DVD yeah, video. Yeah. But when it comes see, to, Ch- it's Channing Tatum. <laughs> Yeah. Like, yeah. So he's like, wow. no, he's not. <laughs> he's not the guy. I know the wow. guy. That's not yeah. him at all. Yeah. Yeah. So, so see, I didn't see the so Lego movie because... for the longest time. Did you feel weird about yeah. watching? Did you see Into the Spider Verse? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I, I went. Yeah, I went. I went and watched it. I went and watched it. I actually know Shamik more. I actually know we. I, we actually did a TV show together, man. We. Um, uh, he. He was on my TV show at like 14, man. We were both like little kids. Oh and we did, we did, yeah, yeah, did a show together in, in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, man. What'd so yeah, I, I know. What'd you mean. say? Yeah. What'd you uh, say? Man, what do you mean? I mean, I don't even have this new his new number. I try to hit him up, but you know. You know Congrats! So like this, my name is Derek. Who is this? <laughs> you know how the you know how the industry goes, man. I, I try to I try to reach out to him, man. But yeah, so it's so crazy because I didn't hear anything anything i mean we didn't get an audition we didn't get a notice it was just boom trailer and i was like it's crazy and it was you know i was like i wonder why though because you know i wonder was it just maybe too much or how long do you wonder that like do you do you are you the kind of person i struggle with it and i'd be like i i want to know man why it honestly I, i joke about the whole um lego batman thing but i was like that was my shot you know that was the one where it's like clearly this is the guy we get and I struggled with for the for the longest time. I was like, why am I getting looked over? What what did I do and do right? And I finally had to bring myself uh, to a no, point. Like, it doesn't like matter. Yeah. yeah, but you're yeah, no. you're like 40 years younger than me. How how do you get to that point? And what is is there the moment where you go, is it is it a process or is it a moment where you're like, I can't, I can't hang on to this, or this will drive me crazy? What, as far as what? <clears throat> How do you let go of that, of going, I should have been in that movie? Even though you're like, I know the dude. Oh, no, I, I no, because I'm, uh, bro, I'm already thinking it was like, it was like they didn't want to, uh, they didn't, they didn't want to overbook me type, mm. type of thing. So I wasn't even thinking like, oh, like in a spiteful way, like, oh, I was cool. like, oh. I was like, maybe, you know, like, You're I'm already pragmatist. doing this and that. Bro, like... <laughs> I have, no, yo, yo, I appreciate that. I'm like, yeah, No, dude. seriously, because it's like... Because, like, I mean, honestly, yeah, it was no it was no type of uh, offense because, I honestly, I, did, I didn't know. Like, I didn't... We didn't get an audition or nothing like that. Now, if I would have got the audition now, maybe I would have felt... You feel me? Like, maybe yeah, I would have yeah, felt yeah. like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> you feel, we just but, don't feel you're the part but, bitch i've been here <laughs> twice how am i not the part but yeah yeah exactly so it's like i didn't even get the, i didn't even get the audition so it's like maybe i'm thinking like okay he's already maybe that's what i'm thinking in my head they're like okay he's already 
he's already work. He's already doing too much right now. That's what I'm thinking in my head. I'm trying because, like, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, how? You know, I'm I'm not even because it's too late. You know what I mean? Like, who am I gonna call now? It'd be like it's too late now. Like it's it's, it's, it's already You'd out. Be like, surprised. Who was it that got replaced? Um, and I, th- I think it was uh, um. Two and a half men. What's his name? Uh, oh not, yeah. Uh, not no, guy. not not that guy. The, the nicer one. The ducky from Sixteen Candles. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah what's yeah. his name? Uh, anyway, he was originally in um, Planes, and w- w- even got to like I think he was one of the writers. Um, two and a, why can't I think of his name? Two and a half men. I love this. John Cryer. John Cryer was originally. Um, the voice in um, Planes, and he got replaced at the last minute. He got Eric Stoltz. Like they shot, you know this, right? You know, you've seen Back to the Future, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah, yeah. so they shot for six weeks with Eric Stoltz as Marty McFly, and I think they originally. I'd have to watch this again. Or there was a documentary about this, pretty fascinating. But the first one, yeah. Well, I mean, the whole franchise, but they they shot the original one. They originally wanted Michael J. Fox. He was under contract with NBC, even though it was a Universal Picture. They couldn't get um, they couldn't get uh, uh, Michael J. Fox because he was shooting Family Ties. So they ended up casting Eric Stoltz. Eric Stoltz was just coming off of winning an Oscar for Mask, and right. he comes in and he's just too broody, like he's this like kind of proto emo dude. And there's all you could wa- go back and watch the the um, uh, yeah. the footage of it. It's it's fascinating. But then they shoot they shoot for six weeks, and uh, George Lucas or, or sorry Robert Zemeckis and Steven Spielberg are watching dailies. And Steven Spielberg looks at Bob Zemeckis and he goes, "You know what you got to do, Bob." And he's like, "I have to fire. I got to fire Eric Stoltz. How do I fire? Like, how do I fire Eric Stoltz?" And so then he gets. Marty McFly, where he gets Michael J. Fox. And Michael J. Fox would literally talk about what you're doing. He would shoot, a car would pick him up at like five o'clock in the morning. He would go get into the works for family ties. He would finish around like two or three. A car would pick him up from wherever studio they were at, take him over to Universal where he would shoot and do predominantly night shoots for Back to the Future. He said, there's so many scenes in the first movie where I'm literally asleep. He's like, he's like oh, shit. what? He's like, there's so many yeah, scenes where I'm just asleep. He goes, I hit my head every time I came out of the DeLorean. I hit my head. It's like, I hate that car. It's one of the worst cars ever. It's just this fascinating, like behind the scenes thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you, 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 uh, you made a comment there. You're like, you know, um, you're doing a lot, and you, you are doing a lot. Like you, you're, you're a true Renaissance man. You're, you're not luckily just an actor. Yeah, I mean, luckily now we're. Uh, slow motion man you know it's holiday season now you know november december it's about to be slow motion now so what does that mean for you what is what is slow motion for you slow motion means just no no phone calls man no no phone calls no emails like no auditions no cool no meetings like yeah it's just like straight just relaxation time and getting things together for next year what do you You do like Like, it drives me nuts there's (laughs) Whenever, whenever someone says, "Ah, you got some downtime," I look, I look at that yeah. and I go, "I can, I'll fill that up with shit because I'm." Yeah, it's almost yeah. impossible for me to sit still. So, what, do, what do you do? Do you decompress? Do you like? Are you able to unwind, or do you go? All right, what shit do I want to take on next? <laughs> like, I don't want to. Do you want to keep yourself busy, or do you have you learned that it's, balance? It's a little bit of both. Like, I definitely can't. <clears throat> I hate sitting in the house too long like i definitely have to get out like i definitely have to get out. like I, i'll go to the studio i'll go bother my uh my friend who's an engineer at you know at a studio i'll go bother her and just sit down and, and just listen to her make beats all day and just be in the studio or i'll go try to like you know i just moved in this new place i just got furniture i went to go find a couch man like furniture shopping is fucking horrible <laughs> but <laughs> Especially but I, learned COVID. I can't even imagine. Yeah, man. I learned that though. Like that was, that was a lot. And then, and then, yeah, man, just trying to figure out what I need for the house. And, you know, I got a dog now too. So the dog keeps me on my toes, like running around 24 seven. So, you know, but yeah, when it comes to like the wine and dining, I'm like, yeah, I, I can, I, I, I need to, cause I, you know, it gets, it gets crazy at times. 
What do you do music wise? Like what's, what's your, what's your vibe? You talk about going to the studio, bothering an engineer and making beats and stuff. Are you more of a producer? Do you, do you, do you want to be, which, which side of the glass do you want to be on in that world? Man, I've been on, uh, been on both sides to be honest. I mean, I've been an artist since. Great quote. I, yeah, no, I. Yeah, I've been on. I've been. <laughs> I've been an artist since. Uh, I can honestly say I've been an artist and like wrote, wrote actual lyrics like since seven years old. And I can honestly say that uh, my uncle will even vouch for me. Like I still have the shit written. You know, what I'm like in a in a book. Like I still have my hand written seven year old. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like lyrics, crazy as fuck. Uh, but um. <clears throat> and then honestly, I have six guitars in my house, man, and a piano. Uh, you know what I mean? So, I yeah, you exactly. play. Yeah, 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 man. I have, uh, yeah, beautiful guitars. Hold on. Beautiful, beautiful little guitars. Get man. it, dude. Like, Let's go. Oh, this my one. God, dude. This Are one, you serious? It? Yeah, I have Les Paul, uh, uh, FNN. Hold on. Oh, I got Gretchen too. Like Gretchen, beautiful. Don't if you pull out, come with a big speed. <laughs> come on, man. I'm telling you, man. Like, yeah, this is this is this is what I do, man. Like, this is all day for me. This is this is like my. I I, I collect too. I'll go to Guitar Center and just go guitar shop, and and literally just stare at guitars all day. And pick them out, like you know what I mean. Like that's that's my free time. That's why my, why electric? My, like, did electric? were you always drawn to electric over acoustic or what? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I actually was so crazy, bro. My first guitar was an acoustic. It was an acoustic and an electric. Sure. And it was a red. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was a basic, basic little, basic little thing, man. But um, I got that, and I was like twelve years old, <clears throat> and. Uh, and yeah, I just, I don't know, man. I just never liked the sound of it, especially as a kid. I've always liked loud noises, like loud music. You know what I mean? Like okay. just coming from Atlanta, you know what I mean? Coming from the South, you know, we we hear that loud, obnoxious, just rah, rah. Like that's us all the Those time. Republicans, so. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like, so you know, coming, I like loud music, man. So like, yeah, the acoustic wasn't, it wasn't for me, man. It was just too soft. It was, it was too, and eh, it's just too not me. So, you know, I kind of converted over to first person who got me my electric, man. Never, you'll never guess it. Uh, Adam Adam Sandler, man, he he got me my first little uh, Ibanez guitar. Yeah, yeah. Still what? To this day. Yeah, man. How did yeah, that? Sandler tell me that story. First. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was that was from the first uh, f- from the first grown ups. He gave us all um, uh, he gave he gave the kids all gifts, man. At the at, at the end of the shoot, as like a rap present. Dude, I've and, heard uh, he's he, just the nicest guy. Is the best work bro, ethic. Man, he's he's amazing, bro. All the Happy Madison team is is amazing, man. All of them are amazing. But yeah, we got a uh, Ibanez guitar. He's like, you want to? Uh, they actually called us and they're like, you want an Xbox or a guitar? I was like, I want a guitar, bro. <laughs> I was like, I, I, I want a guitar. Yeah, I was like, I want a guitar. I was like, I want an Xbox. I want a guitar. And uh, yeah, he's like, all right, cool. So he sent us guitars, man. It was, bro. It was, it was, it was over. What? Tonight musically what what moves you does it matter do you kind of because I'm, I'm a pretty eclectic dude when it comes yeah. to my musical influences but like for you let's say you're in one of those dark dark you know dark spots what's your go-to yeah. jam like what's what's the what's the album you're going to put on what's the what's the album you're going to play what's the song that's going through your head oh man um okay well you know Eclectic wise, I mean, I mean, I'm I'm for everything, but first I gotta start off with like it can go to like a mob deep. Oh my grandma's calling me. It can go to like a mob deep hip hop, <laughs> and then go to like a Nirvana, or it can go to like a oh geez man. Oh, a lot of people. Call Dude, right if now. my grandma was calling me right now, I'd be answered. She's been dead for quite some time, so that's probably whoa, more whoa, reason why I answered. Whoa, but whoa, bro! I'm whoa, just that's, saying. That's, come on, I, but man. I knew this even while she was alive. Jeez, if your bro. grandma calls you, you probably <laughs> want to answer the call. Why'd you, Naji? Why'd you not answer the phone, <laughs> bro? Hold on. Do you hear this right now? Do you hear the? She's do calling you hear the you, ring? Man. She's like, "Are you doing a podcast with that guy that was almost Lego Batman?" He's like, "Ma, grandma, what do you call your grandma?" Grandma. Grandma, Nana. 
Nana? Nana. Cool. <laughs> yeah, Nana. It's the but only no, time man, in your I, life where you get to choose what you're going to be called, you know, because every other time it's like, no, yeah, somebody gave she, you a name. You're like, no, 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 no. You're going to call me. She preferred it. Yeah, man. That's her choice. Either yeah, that or was, you just yeah. submit yourself to it. And it's like, whatever cute sound comes out of that small face, <laughs> that's what I'm going to be. That's <laughs> why so we get Mimi, you know, sort of Mimi yeah, and Grajima Abba's. Or whatever. And, Abba's, yeah. Yeah. I remember. I'll never forget. She was like, no, call me Nana. Nana's Nana. great, man. No, I'm Nana. Not I'll, call, grandma, I'll call your grandma Nana. Nana. It's awesome. Hi, Nana. Nana. It's like, who are you? <laughs> like, you don't know me. What? Um, so you'll you'll move yeah. from from around. You'll you'll do it. You said everywhere from like like. Yeah, man. Yeah. So I mean, like Black Sabbath, bro. Like Mob Deep, uh, uh, Nirvana. Uh, uh, this new, you know, Eminem, Jay Z, bro. It's just it's. I range too from a lot. Like I can go from like there's even. Um, this uh this 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 group uh x x y y or no wait hold on hold on hold on not them um, you're talking about you're not talking about coldplay <laughs> no 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 it's it's another I'm thinking of another group man rush but yeah like it's, yyz it's not <laughs> no 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 it's not rush it's it's like another real eclectic group where they just they just have like a, a real uh jazzy type of type of vibe but man, like I'm telling you, it just really depends on the day. I even listen to reggae too, like old, old school, you know, Rastafari and real reggae, like you know, John Holton, like, you know what I mean? The old school classics. So is that your really mom's influence? My mood. Like, what, yeah, I think that's where that comes from. Yeah, I definitely know that that has to come from my mom's side. The, uh, the, the, the jazz and the, in the, in the rock influence that came from just society really like, just being who I am. And then of course the, the Atlanta influence and, and the hip hop is, you know, from my father's side in Atlanta. And um, do you ever feel like yeah. that there, there's people that I know, um, there's someone in our community that, that um, yeah. she's like growing up, <clears throat> she's this amazing, amazing black girl. And she said that growing up, mm -hmm. you know, she didn't really quite fit in because she liked anime and metal. Mm. <laughs> and, mm you know they're like no, no no you're supposed to like you're supposed to like hip-hop she's like i don't really that's not really my thing i like i prefer anime mm -hmm. hip-hop but they but the anime and metal people they were they didn't want to take her she was kind of stuck in the middle do you ever feel mm -hmm. like you have to you're like thrown to be like this is who you are because culturally this is what you're supposed to be and you're like ah i don't really fit into any of those molds like have you felt that way or, or do you is there a culture that you feel you've embraced Man, I don't know I'm that's a, a fair mutt. way to ask that question, but you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? I'm no, I'm 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 a true mutt, man. Like <laughs> you know, to 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 be honest with you, man, I'm literally gonna tell you why. Like you'll be like, oh shit, you are a, Dude, a tell fucking me that shit. mutt, bro. So, um, you know, being from Atlanta, bro, <clears throat> my mom is is Jamaican. You know, my mom is Jamaican, so she she uh like she left Jamaica when she was like want to say like. 11 or 12 years old you know so she still has the culture kind of influence but it's still americanized heavily americanized you know so <clears throat> being from atlanta leaving atlanta at 10 years old coming out to la and then being homeschooled you know i left school um i left school i left uh, a predominantly white school in alpharetta and i was going back and forth between my mom's job because my mom my mom worked in Alpharetta and my dad lived in southwest Atlanta so I'm going back and forth at times I'm getting dropped off and seeing my dad like once a once a once a week or whatever whatever like last time I saw him I was like five years old and I'm going back to school where I'm like one out of the two you know like like one like only probably the only two like one or two black kids in my class you know what i mean like it's 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 like that it's like one of these things yeah. is not yeah. like the other welcome it's to georgia cra everybody. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly yeah good old georgia so it's like that so uh, you know that that's my that's my upbringing and then leaving that and then coming to la and then being strictly homeschooled yeah it was like now i'm just in the house with with my mom and we're going everywhere in la we're living from santa clarita we're living from downtown figueroa we're living from uh, studio city like we're it's everywhere so i'm not even i'm not even accustomed to a certain area you know what i mean for yeah. so long because we're moving so fucking much 
you know, we're moving so much. So I'm never Those are different cultures to, too. Like it, you're in a different world man. from Santa Maria to Figueroa and downtown that those are like, I live on it's, a different planets. And, and we were, we were living with people too. My mom and I were living with people. We were literally staying with people like other, other actors and, and their moms or whatever. They would have us, you know, stay in their extra guest rooms with group. Cause we were new to LA. We just moved to LA and we were only here for, I want to say like seven years. So we were staying with people and, um, you know, sleeping on couches and sleeping on uh, people's, you know, guest rooms or whatever until we got our own place. And that wasn't until I want to say Grown Ups 2, maybe. Yeah, Grown Ups 2 was when I got my own How wh- ho- place. Hold on. How do you, mm-hmm. how do you go? You're, you're what? So you got here yeah. when you were seven? No, 10. 10. 10. Got here when I was 10. Yeah. Ten. What what caused what was like? All right, we're we're leaving in Atlanta. Two thousand and seven. Yeah. So you're, you're ten years old, yeah. and you're you're living in Atlanta. Why? What caused the move from Atlanta to LA? Why LA? I was already uh man. I was already doing a lot in Atlanta. Like uh, you know, Cartoon Network is based out there. Sure, their, their headquarters. Yeah, right. their headquarters is based out there. So um, Turner Network is based in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, Turner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, is is their headquarters? So I was already doing stuff with them. I was. They had this little show called Fridays, and yeah, uh, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> and they had little kids on there. You know, interviewing cartoon characters. So I was one of the little kids on there. And that was my first acting job. Ever, like ever. I was dancing before that. I was, you know, I was the mascot, bro. Uh, believe it or not, I was the mascot for the Atlanta Hawks. And um What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I was the mascot Isn't for the Isn't that Atlanta against Hawks, like man. child labor laws though? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Atlanta. How old is yeah, he? Man, He's I was, six, I but was, <laughs> <laughs> <really> cheap. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, man. Yeah. And, 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 and that, that kind of did a lot for me because like, you know, from age, yeah, you're right. From age six to age, I want to say seven to 10. So those three years, six to 10, maybe four to 10, six, seven to 10. Yeah. In those ages, uh, I'm that age going to fucking Phillips arena, seeing 80,000 performing in front of 80,000 people you know, in a mascot, you know, uniform and then going to the back, seeing the players, chilling with the players or whatever, and then going to school the next morning at like 6 a.m. So it's a whole rush for me, but it's preparing me for a crazy ass life that I never knew I was going to have, if that makes sense. Like as a kid, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going like I'm seeing the behind the stage scenes of what the industry, what everybody is, you know what I'm saying? As a young kid, because I'm going in the back, I'm getting rushed to go in, you know, to the locker room, yeah. the players get dressed, get into the mascot uniform, and then go back out to perform just like everybody, just like the players are. So it's putting my mind as a kid into a whole other perspective. Like, oh, I'm not, I'm not normal, but at the same time, this is different. This is fun. And I'm still a kid because I still want to be a kid. You know, I still want to That's my question. Be, Do you feel yeah. like... Do you feel like you you got to be a kid? I, Look, I, made I the best growing up, man. I I <laughs> wanted so, I wanted so I, I hung around a lot of older people, and I am like my sister yeah. was two and a half years older than me. I always wanted to be older than I was for some reason. I wasn't comfortable. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. And so it wasn't until I was that was me. I think I started being. I remember when I was. I remember when I, when I was like, I want to be a kid again. It was mm-hmm. the first I bought a PlayStation Two. And it was, this is now my chance to go back and get all the things that I couldn't get because I had a little bit of green. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I was able yeah. to go back and nobody could tell me that I couldn't have it because it fucking, it, it, it may have meant that that I wasn't paying my electric bill. Okay. It's not like I just was right, right. rolling in money at that age, but right. I could do what I wanted to with my own money. And so I was going back and I was being a kid. Do you seven years old, 10 years old, uprooting and going from one city to another city and being and moving around. I moved around a lot too, which is different because like I know people that they grew up in one house and it's like, we know we're going to buy one house and that's the house that we'll probably die in. I'm like, no man, a house, I want a home, but I don't need a house. I understand the difference between the two, but do you feel like you got to be a kid? <clears throat> uh, 
I definitely made, I mean, the times that I remember, you know, I, I made, I made the best of it, man. Because like, I just, I just remember like, just, just like, yeah, like this is, this is, this is something that I want to do, you know, but um, it was different. I didn't, I didn't feel that until I got into my teenage years. Hmm. I didn't feel that until I got into my teenage. Yeah. Yeah. Until I got me. <laughs> and, and uh, that's when that really kind of hit me. And it was like, it was like, okay, you know, I want to, I want to, I want to be out. I want to go out. I want to, Mm. do other things. I want to, I want to skate. I want to, you know, I want to, you know, I want to do, yeah, man. Like it was, it was a rebellion stage where, you know, it kind of like, okay, you know, I kind of did this young and everyone was like, no, what are you doing? This is you like, go do it. I don't know. <laughs> what do you, you mean? Know, walk, so, I like, did, this is awesome. Walk, walk, walk me through that. What do you mean? Like, go, go do it. And you said, no, what is, what is go do it at that point? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> it's kind of like, a lot did of you want to walk you, away from this whole, I mean, like you started doing this like seven years old, essentially. Let's say you've been a performer literally yeah. your whole life. Right. Cause I'm sure that mm -hmm. you got paid to do it at seven. But before right. then, you were probably, I'm not saying you were doing like Shakespearean monologues, but you were probably. No, I, I never fucking went to school for this. Never, nothing. Same, <clears throat> right? same. But, th but there's always been a performer in, in me. There's probably always been a performer in you too. My first stage was was the brick fireplace at our house. And I would go up there and, and, and perform and pretend. It was the way that I got my attention. Um, but I mean, like for you, you've been doing this literally your whole life. Was there ever a point where you're like, I don't want to do this and I want to walk away? Or is it just been constantly the pursuit of like, this is, no, I've literally been living my dream my whole life. Yeah. It's actually, it's, it's not even a bit of both because it's never like, I want to stop. It's like, I kind of want to make sure it doesn't get washed in a, in a certain way if that makes sense. Like it doesn't get into a, a point where it's like, okay, this is, this is now seeming corny to do, you know, mm -hmm. or this is now like, yeah, seriously, like everything I want now as a, as an adult, as I want it to be of a, uh, a message or I want it to affect, you know what I mean? Like I wanted to bring something rather yeah, than just, Oh, this is a, another project. This is another thing that I'm doing. Oh, this is just another, you know, like now it's like, now I have a, I have a mission. Now I want to complete like, okay, I have all this that I did as a kid or whatever. Like, yeah, you guys know me from that. But if my message and my legacy can't be brought through certain projects that yeah i'm gonna be picky i'm gonna be i'm not gonna i'm not gonna i'm gonna say no i'm not gonna do everything because not everything is gonna get my 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 legacy and my mission across it's just gonna seem like i'm just you know i'm just doing it just to do it but it's not at that at the, at the end of the day like it kind of changed as i got older and you know it kind of got to that point where like yeah i'm not <clears throat> i'm i don't want to do everything but it's for, it's for, a, it's for a point, like it's for a reason, you know, it's for a particular reason that, you know, I, I want to show people that it's, it's, it's a lot more to what, you know, can, can be shown. Like, you know, cause I want to direct eventually. I want to write eventually, you, you know what I mean? I want to make, I want to make my own stuff. So it's like, you know, I definitely want to show people it's a lot more, you know, to be shown. One of the and, most, yeah. One of the most impactful, I mean, I, I'm going to harp on this just because it's mm -hmm. relevant, but the, have, but you have, have you played any of Miles Morales yet? A little bit, little samples here and there. I went to the studio a little there. But, me uh, too. Like that's, I've, I've, <laughs> I've done like one thing. I'm like, well, that's just the worst ever. That's literally like the guy in the parking lot going, Hey man, this one's free. Okay. You come back. He's like, give me more. Give me more. <laughs> Uh, I, I actually I need to see because I don't know if the if, if our mail came today or, or or if not. But well, I won't keep you long. But I do. I, sure. th no, 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 no. You're good. You're good. There's one moment in the you're in good. the end of the Spider Verse movie. You you might be familiar with it since we've been talking about it ad nauseum. But right. that moment of the leap of faith. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
where there's there's really two. There's one where he believes and the one that he hopes. Um, mm-hmm. And the first one is the, I, I have to be this, so I'm hoping that I can do this. And the second one, and dude, still, that song is not coming out, like, What's Up Danger has not been out of my, pl- my, my workout mm-hmm. playlist and said, I was like, I walked out of that movie and so many that that movie did a lot for me. First of all, yeah, yeah. There's Wonder Woman and there's there's uh, Miles Morales, mm. and it was something that that I realized because all of a sudden when Wonder Woman came out, it was like there were all these pictures of women across the nation that were like, finally, this is a movie that we can go see that truly reflects us. And it's like we've been having to project ourselves. We kind of get a little bit of Black Widow, but she, let's just be honest, like Scarlett right. Johansson for the most part is here because she's gorgeous and she's a badass. But there's not a there's yeah. not a Black Widow movie. There is now, but someone had to take the chance and do Wonder Woman and go. I remember walking out there going, "Shit, man!" To every girl I've ever taken to a movie about a superhero, and by and large, that was pretty much just my wife. <laughs> um, I think there may have been like one or two before her, but I was like, uh-huh. "I'm sorry, man." That it's like how is like that must be awesome for you. I have no idea. I have to like, but Miles Morales I was like, "Man, what an." That was the first time to me that it had nothing to do with his ethnicity, had nothing to do. It was just him as a kid, but to be able to see that one to one and the amount of kids that I saw in the in in like the, the lobby of the movie theater, God, I miss the movie theater. Um yeah, yeah, of all these kids dressing that. up, and it's like I get to that looks like <clears> me. <throat> Did you 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 say that you're a mutt? Um, but you're more of a mutt than I am, right? Because, like, by and large, you can stir this up however much you want. It's going to come out white. Like, just I'm just a white dude. <laughs> For you, having all of these different influences, not only just, like, genetically, but culturally as well. Like, from Atlanta, and you have, you have this beautiful Jamaican, Islander, Caribbean influence in you as well. Mm. How did you feel? Like, what, what does Miles mean... I guess to you and what do you think Miles means specifically to like right now? Man, it's it's something that oh uh, sheesh. Bro, Miles is like the face of just universal uh just I feel like joy and 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 mm. and and happiness because because the youth right now, man, it's so much shit going on that we can't really explain to our our three-year-olds and our four-year-old kids like about what's you know about about what society and, and what's really going on like all they know is cartoons like all they know is is spider-man and and that's mm-hmm. all they see and all they can really fathom you know what i mean right now so it's kind of like that's the main mission goal is to is to keep their focus and to keep their joy in tune and happy and then also making them realize that yeah it's 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 more to be I mean, I mean, it's, 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 yeah, like you said, like people are talking about the representation as far as, you know, uh, having a superhero look like them, you know, and that's, and that's something that I always, I always say too, because like you have so many people putting on, you know, the costume for, for Halloween and, and you have so many different kids, like, you know, just putting on the costume and, and being who they are, you know what I mean? Just from the costume and just feeling that way. So I guess Miles, man, like Miles kind of, is this statue of and, and and this power of like of just bringing all this youth and all these problems together like and all of this just chaos on the society outside of 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 you know a world that no one needs to be in and that we need to just focus on what the next generation is about and what the you know what i mean and what how we're going to teach the youth about just keeping shit together and keeping shit focused and and being you know what i mean anyone can be a hero like honestly like not just pointing the finger and anyone can be a hero so i feel like miles is kind of taking that step and being that face for you know switching up that switching up that dynamic and that character you know what i mean and it's kind of like yeah it's kind of it's it's making it it's making its way more and more like you know the more it's shown the more news is, is out and and the more people are loving the story and playing the game and you know, Miles is going to be here for a minute, and it's kind of crazy that, you know, he's he's in, uh, evolving like this. You know, because it's so much shit that that we could still be, you know, having to write for him, and and so many things that still can happen for him. You know what I mean? So, 
what's going to happen next for you? you Like what's, what's, what's your next evolution? What's your next leap of faith? Oh man. Um, definitely the music definitely is, is the next music is the lane of music because honestly it's like, that's where I know I could, uh, talk about the personal journey of, you know, the ride of the industry or just, or just the, the struggles of, of getting into, you know, where, where I am now, you know what I mean? So it's like an outlet. Sure. There's a difference between as an, as an actor, you're used to having a script being presented to you and then you got to interpret those words. And then those words from that, that character come through you, but it's still a word and a character versus, um, with music. It's like, no, this is just me. It's just me right here in front of you. Um, there's a whole different layer that, or, or rather there's so many layers that are stripped away in that right. kind of context. I, I, I trust me, man, I've got my collection of guitars and my piano over there as yeah. well. I, I do the exact same yeah. thing. Yeah. So it's, it's just a pure outlet for me. And, um, and honestly, yeah, I mean, writing scripts too. I mean, that's, that's, that's another thing. My, my, my friends and I, uh, we, we want to write a lot of shorts, man. We're like, we're, we're into like the indies and the shorts and the, in the indie cults and the indie films and stuff like that. So, oh. you know, taking, taking stuff overseas and, and filming, you know, some shit overseas and, and bringing it back here. Like that's just doing some different things, man. Like getting out of the States and, and, you know, exploring the world. Like that's what life is really about right now. Dude, I tell them. You know, you know, yes. yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> I echo that sentiment, man. Like I said, when we when we first started, is like you you walked onto that set, a boy, and and here stands before me a man. Um, you are uh, you're a good dude, man, Naj. And there's 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 a lot that um, every time I get to see you, I get to learn more about you, and I'm 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 thankful for the time for you to to give and just open up and 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 share. Let me know more about <laughs> the person in the suit. Uh, I've known you in a different suit, so it's, uh, it's good for you to tell me who, who you are, man. Um, Thank you, man. anything, yeah, any story bro. you tell other to be a part of it. Yeah, man. Big bro, man. I, I thank you, man. I swear to God. I, I told you, I'll never forget when you, when you sat me down and you were like, and I asked you, I was 14, bro. I was like, what can you tell me about this? Like, like I'm so new to all, like, I'm what, what can you tell me? And you were just like, once you're in this world. Ain't no getting out. <laughs> ain't no getting out. It was along those lines. I swear to, I swear to God, Troy. And I, that shit stuck with me, dude. Like that shit stuck with me. I'm like, all right, like all right. And that was it, bro. And the next, you know, like what? Two years later, and another game, or no, a year later, another game happened, and another game. I'm like, oh shit. And that shit just kept happening. And then next, you know, we see each other, and it was just like, bro. She was a trip, man. Like life is a trip, man. Like the universe, God is how everything is back orchestrated, and you know it's crazy, man. Like it's crazy. Things Dude, come I, right back. I, I see, I see the, uh, I see the control in the midst of the chaos. Like I see, yeah, yeah, I can see yeah. the, the patterns that are formed, and it definitely, man, it, yeah. it looks like uh, there is no indication. You are squarely in this world, and you are definitely not going anywhere anytime soon, man. Yeah.